where was neuroscience when you you entered and what do you feel like are some of the biggest changes that's happened in these 47 years yeah, it's, there's, there's too many to enumerate uh i mean some of the biggest changes but let me let me start by saying the questions themselves are pretty much the same so the questions that people are interested are pretty much the same where the big changes have come is in the methods that you can apply to answer them and so just in in the last 10 years 10 you know 10 or 15 years there's just been an explosion of methods in neuroscience that allow you to address questions at, at a cell and molecular and systems neuroscience level that just wasn't possible uh, back when I started, you know, almost 50 years ago. I mean, 50 years ago, the standard methods basically were take it out, lesion it, and see what happens in terms of, a, you know, a, a, a brain structure, or stimulate it, uh, often uh, electrically or, or chemically, pharmacologically. And that was pretty much it, you know. Those techniques are still applied, but with a, a level of precision using optogenetics or chemogenetics kinds of approaches now that you know we didn't even think of back then. Uh, but the questions, the questions themselves, the the experimental design, you know what's you know good and an appropriate experimental design, the importance of, of controls and so on, that's all pretty much the same. But the the level of precision with which one can manipulate brain now is, is, is nothing like it was when I started off.